My name's Mike. I'm 55 years old, and I got four months to train to go up Mount Whitney, which will be the hardest thing I've ever done in my life by far. Hey, I'm about to start driving up to Mount Whitney now from uh, Lone Pine, California. Mount Whitney's one of those peaks up there. And uh, my brother says I'm not gonna like the drive. It's gonna be steep and scary, so, and I don't like steep and scary drives. So uh, anyway, here we go. God, look at that, I can just see, it's just granite cliffs above me, like sheer cliffs. It's gonna be a little cold tonight. I think it's gonna get down to the eh, mid 40s, maybe 40 degrees, who knows? Uh, the weather's pretty unpredictable here. I'll probably go to bed early and uh, man, I can hear the creek down there. Maybe you can, I don't know. Sounds nice, that'll put me to sleep. Yep, just here hanging out, getting acclimatized. Tomorrow we'll go for a hike. I can't believe I'm actually here, finally. After all this time, months and months of working out and life changes and uh, just getting my body together. I just am sitting here by myself just thinking about <clears throat> everything that's led up to this and uh, it's just amazing. It's beautiful up here. Man, I hope everything goes okay with the weather and uh, I'm just gonna give it the best I can, man. Anyways, gonna do a hike tomorrow, probably two to three miles. I'm gonna wanna get up to Lone Pine Lake and then fish it. I'll probably do that afternoon sometime. Anyways, talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. I'm gonna hike up to Lone Pine Lake. That is the plan. I don't know how the hike on Saturday is gonna go with the weather, so um, here I'll get all I can out of this place right now. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, walking towards the trailhead here. Really beautiful up here. There's the store. Doing a what should be a three mile at the most practice hike today. We're having a problem with the weather forecast on Saturday. It's looking pretty grim. So I don't know. I'm gonna make the most of what I can out of this day. I do feel like the altitude's already having an effect on me. I mean I could feel it back at camp just going up and down the hill to my van and my campsite. And that's nothing, so. <sighs> but this is it. This is the beginning of the Mount Whitney Trail. That's awesome. God, it's amazing out here. Look at that. Been surrounded by granite cliffs. I'm going as far as I can without a permit. So Matt has a permit, and that's for Saturday. So today's Thursday, this is my practice hike, see how I do with the altitude and I'm also just get more acclimated, you know, acclimatized to the altitude. I think I'm at about 8,400 feet right now. I think it started at 83. Everything is just a, a view. I don't even want to turn my camera off. It's incredible. And look at that, man. Hoping for a forecast to be wrong, or at least accurate. If it's accurate, we'll get to the top before the snow. I just have to stop and even keep looking. Goodness. Yeah, body's doing good, just uh, lacking a little oxygen. So here's my other camera. I got it uh, mounted onto my backpack strap right there so it doesn't swing around.
All right. Take the high road here. Just wow. So when we hike up this part Saturday, it's going to be like 2 in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, so it's going to be dark. I'm not going to be able to see any of this on the camera, so. Once you get up high, there will be no trees or anything, but for now, wow, beautiful. There's another water crossing, it looks like, coming up. Okay, see some rock hop in here. It's like Frogger. <laughs> oh, those long ones. Holy cow, let's take a shot of this though. Look at this. Standing right in the middle of it. Okay, let's pick my path here. I'm starting to go fast. I didn't realize I had to keep going. I'm not boring you guys, but this is just, this is why I came here. I mean, I came here to tackle Mount Whitney, but uh, it's also one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Look at that. Look at that, man. I'm here. I'm here. I'm there. This is where I'm at, dude. Uh, I figured I'd take a break. I should take a break often. But I can feel the thin air for sure. Whatever happens on Saturday, if we can't summit because of the weather, or if I just can't make it, I don't want to say that. I'm trying to think positive, but if that happens, I mean, it's no loss. You know, I've put so much effort into this. I, I devoted myself for the last four or five months to getting in shape and uh, cleaning up my life and uh, just, yeah, just take care of my body and hiking and looking forward to this and, uh, you know, that's, that's where the real work was. And, um, you know, this is just one day, you know, it's all that work that got me here and however hard I, far I make it, you know, I'll be proud of myself for it. I guess, uh, <laughs> I'm proud just to be here right now. I, um, I never thought I'd do anything like this. I've never committed myself to anything. I've never worked so hard for anything in my life ever. Hey man, I'm going to give it my best shot. Gorgeous. Just awesome, man. Just seeing, I don't know what it is, it's just, I love the granite and tree mix, but just the size of these cliffs and rocks, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just something about it, man. It's a huge valley of gigantic rock, solid rock. Howdy. How you doing? All right. Awesome hike. Yeah, did you guys summit? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday. Up the GMT. Oh, cool. Yeah, I met some other people that were too. Dang. We're looking for some food. That's a whole. <laughs> How you doing? Oh. Go, oh, I guess I'll go. <laughs> Thank you. Goodness. Have a good one. Yeah. <laughs>
Awesome day. Yeah, beautiful. You going to the lake? One thing I really enjoy about hiking is uh, the people I meet. You know, I hike alone usually, but um, everybody I run into is pretty much totally cool, good mood, happy. You know, and uh, it just seems like somebody you'd really get along with. I mean, we're all out here for the same general purpose, you know. Uh, it's not like walking down the sidewalk past random people. You got uh, people out here that are just loving nature and getting outside, loving the view, and uh, getting exercise and stuff, you know. So it's like a little club, sort of, I think. Look at that. <laughs> The water. This will be fun. That was pretty long, too. All right. Let's see if I can get across that without falling in the water. Hey, make it look easy. All right. It's like a video game. <laughs> 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 Hello. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Whoa. My balance here. Huh. This one's a little round. Uh, might be easier to move fast, actually. Uh, look at this. Uh, all right, especially on that round one. I'm not gonna like that in the dark tomorrow. Uh, Probably hit this around three or four in the morning. Well, that was fun. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Lone Pine Lake, that's where I'm going. There's fish. Yeah, I should have brought my rod. Two fish. Right, let's check out the snow. I gotta touch the snow. Look at this. I'm at about 10,000 feet. There's some snow. <laughs> Look at this place, man. Time to eat. I don't feel all that hungry, but they say that that's one of the things that happens when you go up high. So I'm gonna eat anyways. Got peanut butter sandwich as usual. And, uh, and then I'll eat my orange. Look at this, man. There's snow over there, right there next to the water. Um, there's trout feeding. I can see little trout swimming around. This water is totally clear. I mean, see for yourself. This is awesome. Don't you think? All right, well, it's time for me to leave this beautiful lake. It's starting to get a little chilly out here now. Just a little. My legs and stuff. I did bring warm clothes if I need them. But I think I'll be fine. Hello. How far did you go? Oh, I just went to the lake today. Where's the lake? How far? Uh, Not there. May, probably less than a mile. Oh, less than a mile? Yeah. It's not too bad. No, not too oh, bad. Oh. No. Is that where you're headed? Not easy, huh? No. <laughs> oh, you got a big pack. You're going farther than that. Go farther. 
Yeah, go to the camping. Oh, okay. Area. Like trail camp or something? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, well, good luck. Have fun. I'm gonna rest here for a second. Stretch my leg. It's a good day. Um, look at that view. I uh, made it up fairly easy. Um, coming down is a little uncomfortable here and there. Doing the best I can with that. Stretching here and there and... Oh man, that looks, that looks awesome. We're back. All right, that was a fun hike. It was nice. I made it up to 10,000 feet, three miles. I mean, I only climbed 1,600 feet, but I climbed up to an altitude of 10,000 feet, and I did good. Uh, things were a lot different up at 14 and a half thousand, so I mean, you never know, but hey man, I'm in as good a shape as I could be in right now for the time I had uh, available to train for this. So just have to see how it goes, take my time going up, and uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen Saturday with the weather. We want to start the hike and just go as far as we can. Anyway, so far so good. We'll see what happens. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this hike, and I hope you enjoy the Mount Whitney one on Saturday a lot more. Right. Entering the Whitney zone. Entering the Whitney zone. Entering the Whitney. That's where we get the permits for. It's fun. This is the fun part. We're at 11,000 feet or so and it's Shit. starting to snow and rain a little bit. Yeah, the girls took off up ahead without us. Matt went up to try to find the two girls and he did not find them. Oh my gosh.